Hey, what's going on? It's Ruben Jay here at The Voice with the top six. Cole, dude, how are you doing? Good, man. Take a look at this suit. It's a very well-crafted suit. Looks good. Look at the shoes. The shoes. I love the shoes. Oh, my pants are messed up. Hang on. Oh. There we go. <laughs> now look at them. Dude, you're looking good, man. You sounded good tonight, too. Thanks, I'll say, I think tonight uh, was definitely probably your, one of your strongest performances. Thanks, man. Uh, you agree? Yeah, I definitely with the first one, you know, and uh, with Rich Girl, I just, I had the most fun I've had on this. Can, can you do me a favor? Can you, like, not sing the lyrics, but, like, just say them? Because there's a part where I think you say, like, Bitch Girl. It was... Yeah, well, it's, um, the first part is You're a Rich Girl. Yeah. And the second part is It's a Bitch Girl. Oh, so, and you said it on national television? Yeah, they, we said it on NBC. That was the first thing I said when they gave me that song. I was like, well, am I going to be able to say Bitch? Because if not, then we're not doing the song. What does this world come to? <laughs> right? What? I don't well, we understand didn't, it. We didn't say your bitch. It's, it's yeah, a bitch. So it's, yeah. it's a whole different thing. Whole different, <laughs> whole different FCC role. Yeah, it changes the whole thing. So uh, last week was a pretty decent week for you. This week I think a little bit better. Are you feeling confident going into like, this is like the final stretch here. Yeah. Got a couple more weeks. You know, how are you feeling about you know the finals and, and the, I mean what are you gonna be doing like two songs a week from here on out? I thought, but um, I, earlier one of the producers I was talking to her and she said we just do one song next week. So I, I guess I don't know how it works, but um, I'm like we got a two hour show to film, we're just doing one song. I don't know how it works exactly, but uh, yeah, I really felt good about tonight. I had so much fun out there, and uh, you know, Christina had constructive criticism for me on my second song, and that's fine because that's what that's what we're here for. I, li I like it though. I like the raspiness, you know. Like, yeah, well, it's the, probably not good for your voice. The thing is, is that number one, I'm a raspy singer. And yeah. so is Christina Aguilera. And number two is so is James Morrison, who, is, who sings that song. And the only thing that my ear can do is emulate what it hears. And, and I was really wanted to tribute James Morrison being one of my favorite singers. And, and that rasp just kind of naturally happened. And if, if she didn't vibe with it, that's, you know, that's fine. And, and she's right, we do a lot of singing. Um, rehearsing for these shows and her her advice was to not blow your voice out and that's great advice yeah I'll definitely um, i think the internet's gonna is gonna get that and take it the wrong way yeah. you know of trying to tell you not to use it. it's interesting how the internet always twists everything that the judges yeah. say so uh we got one last question for you then we're gonna play another game so a little bit better than last week's game uh what can we expect from you for the next couple of weeks man because you, you seem to to be like not stuck, but you seem to be like developing what kind of artist you're going to be. I'm really curious as to what, what next week brings, if, should you be there. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Um, every week, I never know what I'm going to do the next week. So I didn't, you know, I didn't know what this week was going to bring, and I, I don't know what next week's going to bring. I guess I got to get with with Blake and see what he wants to do, see what his ideas are, and just kind of play it by ear. It'll definitely be. How's it feel? Week. How's it feel being the last member of Team Blake? Uh, yeah, it's um. It's something I'm kind of thought a lot about because I'm. I is feel, there a burden? I feel a little bit of pressure yeah. because uh, Team Blake is always strong at this point yeah. in the competition, and now I am Team Blake. Yeah. Team Blake's always in the running at the finale, and uh, you know I feel like if if I don't win, I'm the one that ended Blake's winning streak. So yeah. I have to. No, it I'm, was, I feel it was some Christina. It was Christina sure. ended it. We'll blame Christina. All right, so we're gonna do a speed round here. I have I have ten questions and two bonus questions for you. And uh, we're gonna try to just go through this as fast as you can, all right? All right? So, uh, try not to think about it too much. This first thing that comes to your mind, all right? All right. All right. Let's have you stand right over, right over here. Let's get you right into the camera. Am I out of the frame? Am I looking in? No. Okay. I'll stand here in the frame. Just look into the camera, or whatever you feel. All right. Uh, your favorite color? Purple. Guilty pleasure. Handsome. <laughs> handsome. Handsome. Oh, handsome. I said <laughs> handsome. I'm like, wow. <laughs> uh, one of your bad habits. Fighting my nails. Fighting your nails. That's terrible. Uh, that's guitar players. Yeah, yeah. Every guitar player I know does that. Um, your biggest pet peeve? Uh, mispronunciation of words. Huh? Especially is a good example. Especially? <laughs> yeah, we're going to say especially. Especially. Instead of especially. <laughs> well, especially. Huh? Uh, who's your favorite interviewer? Ruben J. Are you saying that just to blow smoke up my ass? No, man. <laughs> uh, your favorite TV show? South Park. Really? Number one fan right here. I would think you're more of a Duck Dynasty guy. No. I mean, I dig it. It's cool. That's oh, I was just coming for the beard. But, uh, no. Number one South Park fan. Uh, first car you drove? 67 Mustang. Last person you text? Um, girl named Kinsey. Oh, girl or, or girlfriend? Just, uh, just a girl. Just a girl. Just a girl. You can tell me after when the camera's off. Uh, last question here in the speed round. Uh, name a time you were in trouble. Uh, as a kid. Oh, as a kid? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I was one of those kids that always did things and uh, regretted it afterwards, doing things that I shouldn't have done. Um, there was a lot of times. <laughs> There's nothing like that really. Nothing that pops out. out. All right, all right, that's cool. All right, so these next ones, I need you to interpret these lyrics the best you can. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is from Blake's Boys Around Here. It goes, "You don't do the Dougie, no, not in Kentucky." Um, you don't. You <laughs> <laughs> don't do the Dougie right. in Kentucky. This is from uh, Maroon 5's "Moves Like Jagger." Um, I've got the moves like Jagger. He does. <laughs> does he? Yeah, do you? I do, yeah. Can you demonstrate him? How's Jack? I don't know how Jack was. I don't know how Jack was either. All right. This is, uh, <laughs> as a duck. Uh, that was cool. Jagger. If you like him, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe in the uh, down here area. Do you think you so much. You're looking good. Thanks, as man. always, best of luck. Thanks, man. Cool.